how to remove estimated taxes on Shopify checkout. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to remove the estimated taxes, labels, and also the calculation from your Shopify store. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We're going to head over Shopify.com, sign in for an account, and as you can see, we're going to be on the admin dashboard. Now, once we have been here, what we're going to do next is going to be very simple. Head over to the left side of the screen and we're going to head over the parameters or the settings. Once you have clicked on the settings, we're going to find, as you can see here, the parameters and everything. We're going to scroll down and we are going to have a look to the taxes and duties. So a little disclaimer here, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, names, phone numbers, addresses are going to be created only for the sake of the video and nothing else. So you need to check for this and you are going to put only your, uh, let's say, a specific um, uh, here arrangement and also your proper addresses. Now, once we have been on the taxes and duties, we are going to scroll down and we are going to find here the global settings. As you can see, you can go ahead and include sale taxes in the product price and shipping rate, but we are going to deactivate this and click on save. So, as you can see, we have uh, we have set the inclusion of the uh, sale taxes off. That means that it is not going to show up. That was the first thing. Now the second thing is going to head over the online store. Once we have been on the online store, we're going to select themes. And depending on the theme that you have, we're going to head over it. As you can see, in our case, it is going to be the dawn theme. But maybe in your case, you're going to have the current theme as the horizon. So it doesn't matter a lot. We're going to only click on three dots right there. And we're going to head over edit default theme content. Now it is going to show up the content of the theme from the homepage or the general page till you're going to find the checkout and systems. You're going to find checkout and everything. Now, normally on the checkout, you're going to find the checkout general or the label of the checkout taxes. So we are not going to um, use or waste our time by searching for it one by one, but we are going to click on the filter and type in tax. Normally, it is going to see here the taxes. Basically, let's see here the uh, checkout uh, and system taxes. We're going to head over estimated or we are going to type in estimated and or st estimated taxes as you can see this is it estimated taxes label so it is empty normally but we're going to put a point instead of it so it is not going to have the label of estimated taxes just like that so that was the um the step that we need to do also you can have for example information estimated tax label so you can go ahead and have it not estimated but also another thing here uh, estimated tax label put it as a point. You cannot let it empty because it is going to have the default name, but instead go ahead and put a point of it. So that was pretty much it for today's video. And this is how you can set up or turn off the tax estimated label into your uh, checkout. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that was very helpful for this tutorial. And uh, you're going to only check up the two uh, methods that I have showed you in this video. Make sure they are going to put a point instead of the standard label, or default label, not let it empty because it is going to have a default value, which is going to be the name and you're not going to include the taxes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.